Imagine a world where your thoughts alone could move objects, control devices, or even communicate with others. A world where paralysis isn't a life sentence, but just another challenge we've learned to overcome. Welcome to the fascinating realm of brain-computer interfaces, or BCIs, a technology that sounds like science fiction, but is rapidly becoming our reality. Today, on both sides, we're diving into how the United States and China are racing to master this cutting-edge frontier. We'll unpack the science behind BCIs, spotlight the companies leading the charge, and explore key elements that make this technology revolutionary, from neural decoding algorithms to implantable devices. To understand BCIs, imagine two branches, the abstract world, systems, data, algorithms, and neural technologies that translate the brain's whispers into digital commands. The physical realm, devices, neural hardware components, electrodes, sensors, and implants that capture those whispers directly from neurons. These branches form the foundation of every BCI. And yes, they're as complex as they sound. So what exactly is a BCI? Simply put, it's a system that enables direct communication between the brain and external devices. Think of it as a translator between your thoughts and your tech. Types of BCIs. Invasive BCIs implanted directly into the brain for maximum precision. Interventional BCIs, minimally invasive, slipping through blood vessels like neural ninjas. Non-invasive BCIs, external devices worn on the head, reading brain activity from the outside. Take Neuralink, for example. Their M1 chip, surgically embedded in the brain, contains ultra-thin electrodes recording neural activity. These signals are wirelessly transmitted to external devices. Their R1 robot inserts these delicate threads with surgical accuracy. Sophisticated algorithms then decode the signals, translating thoughts into commands like moving a cursor just by thinking about it. BCIs like Neuralinks are already assisting people with paralysis, enabling control over prosthetics and computers. But we're just scratching the surface. The future holds potential for cognitive enhancement, real-time communication without speech, and even military applications straight out of a dystopian novel. Challenges? We need to improve signal accuracy, ensure long-term implant safety, and grapple with the ethics of potentially hacking the human brain. Here's where both sides gets interesting. How are China and the United States approaching this? In the United States, beyond Elon Musk's Neuralink, there's Synchron, originally founded in Australia by Dr. Tom Oxley. Now United States-based, Synchron focuses on minimally invasive BCIs, successfully implanting devices in individuals, enabling thought-controlled digital interactions. In China, government-led initiatives aim to establish Shanghai and Beijing as global BCI hubs by 2030. While the private sector is also making significant strides, companies like Neuroxess, Noble Kaji, led by Tao Hu, stand out for pioneering flexible BCIs. With advancements in real-time Chinese speech decoding and precise motor control, enhancing neural communication. As BCIs evolve, the race between China and the United States isn't just about who gets there first, it's about what they prioritize. The United States, individual enhancement, cognitive freedom, and commercial applications. China, collective well-being, public health, and government-led innovation. So what's next? By 2027, expect an explosion of non-invasive BCIs for medical rehabilitation. By 2030, advanced BCIs will integrate with smart devices. And by 2035, fully immersive BCIs merging with AI, enhancing memory and decision-making. So here's the question. Will BCIs become the next frontier of human potential or the next battleground in a global tech rivalry? Are we heading toward collaboration or collision? And while our guess is that the explosion of non-invasive BCIs by 2027 might mark their chat GPT moment. An interesting question we like to ask on both sides is this. Will China be able to catch up and surpass the United States as they did with DeepSeek and AI? Or will the United States continue to lead the world in this transformative technology? Stay tuned. <laughs>